I'm Joan O'Neill Chiesa, and I am the owner's representative on this construction project here at St. Stanislaus Church in Modesto, California. I was part of the selection committee that unanimously chose T.B. Penick and Sons to be our contractor. Uh, St. Stanislaus began in 1881 as a parish and our current church, the church we had before this, was completed in 1913 and seats 388 people. So you can see why it was necessary to build this sanctuary, which seats a little over 1,300 people. Speaking from an owner's point of view, the challenge is always to keep the change orders as low as possible. That was one of the things about TB Penick and Sons that we all were so appreciative of. Um, our, our change order percentage is less than 2% on this enormous project. And the quiet professionalism, the respect for our needs and our timetable that was shown us by TB Penick and Sons was just extraordinary. The atmosphere here was probably one of the most professional, respectful, um, congenial atmospheres I've ever worked with. And I've been involved with design and construction for over 40 years. It was just the best um, example of teamwork, of support, of taking care of everyone. The reaction of most people when they see this sanctuary from the outside and then the inside is silence. It is so unexpected to see this quality, this grandeur. Um, it simply causes one to be silent. Our pastor, who was given the task of building a new sanctuary, his overriding mantra was he wanted a sanctuary that would cause people to pray, that would call them to pray. And this sanctuary does that. Whenever parishioners were allowed on the site, it was not without TB Painted permission. And the site was so clean. Um, Timelines were set um, during construction. You just can't have people coming on site. Work has to go on. Um, but every effort was made to accommodate people, donors who wanted to tour. Um, we had done most of our budgeting prior to putting T.B. Pennock under contract. Um, what T.B. Pennock did for us was to find other ways of doing things that saved us incredible amounts of money even prior to signing our contract. Once under contract, they continued to make sure things were done to the best possible standard. And yet I was always offered, you know, we can do it this way or we can do it this way, and here is the cost for doing that. This is something you could possibly do later. Uh, yes, I was offered choices all the way along that I could bring to the Finance Committee, helping them make decisions. It does matter who you retain as a contractor. It does matter who you retain as an architect. Um, if the contractor has built other buildings similar in style to yours, it makes a tremendous amount of difference. It's very frightening to have the contractor go to school on your project. Um, it's always good to know that they've done this before, they've handled this before, um, this is how we've done it before, this is what has worked for us before. It makes a tremendous difference in the owner's stress level. It's been approximately two and a half years since we closed out the construction project. To this day, TB Panic is always available for my phone calls, my emails, answering questions for any of the issues that we've had. TB Panic is up here within 24 hours to take a look at the situation, solve the situation. At one point in conversation with Mark Panic, I said, well, we're close to the year guarantee and he assured me both on the phone and in writing Joan will always um, take care of that building you know, we don't stop at a year we don't stop at five years 
uh, we will always monitor that building and take care of any issue that ever comes up.